Abernathy was born on January 28, 1876 in Bosque County, Texas. He descended from Scottish ancestors. His family relocated in 1882 to Sweetwater, Nolan County, Texas. Sweetwater in 1882 was a booming railroad town with many construction crews and frontier men. Everybody called him Jack. Jack was musically talented and by the age of six he could play the piano while his brother often joined him on his violin or accordion as they provided saloon entertainment. One Christmas week a shootout occurred in which there were several victims. The boys' parents learned where their youngsters were spending their evenings and removed them from saloon business forever. By the age of seven, Jack had seen a cattle stampede, and by nine, he had hired out as a very young cowboy in the making, saying about the experience that he had no trouble taking a job on the range, for I was very clever with a rope. By the time he was 11, he participated in his first trail ride, and by the age of 15, in 1891, he was a full-fledged cowboy. His boss at the time was Charles Goodnight on the J.A. Ranch, where Jack broke horses, some 308 of them. It was while he was working on the ranch that he learned his famous wolf-catching trick. Two of the ranch dogs attacked a stray wolf, and Jack tried to separate them as the wolf whirled to attack. Jack quickly moved toward the wolf and jammed his right hand into the wolf's mouth, and thanks to good luck, the hand was far enough back inside the mouth to avoid being caught between the long, sharp canine teeth. Jack held the upper jaw of the wolf with his right hand and his lower jaw with the left hand, and the wolf was powerless to injure him. It was that accidental hand thrust back of the canine teeth that taught me how to grapple wolves, he later remembered. He wired the wolf's mouth shut and bound its legs, and later found the wolf outweighed him, 137 pounds to 130 pounds. Now the coyotes you're seeing in this movie won't weigh 137 pounds. They'll be well under 100 pounds. But please remember, he also caught wolves, weighing more than he did at the time. After this incident, he began to be a full-time wolf catcher. And on December 1st, 1891, accompanied by three new dogs, he began trapping the wolves at $50 per wolf and $5 per coyote, which proved to be very profitable. During his lifetime, he caught more than a thousand wolves alive in the above described manner and became nationally famous for this skill. When he tried to show others how to do it, no one else was successful at the trick, mainly because they would become frightened after the wolf clamped down on the hand and they would quit instead of holding fast and the wolf would usually maim their hand. Jack sold the live wolves and coyotes to a zoo and traveling shows and outfits that wanted them for breeding stock. When Jack caught the wolves, he sometimes wore a thin glove, but usually didn't wear anything on his hand, and he attributed his skill to unusual physical strength developed from the sport of wrestling and of quickness of eye. Now you're going to see a wolf here that seems to be behaving strangely. Uh, it turns out, I found out this wolf is, is tied or tethered with a piano wire. So that's why he seems unsteady and confined. It's because he is tied, even though you don't see the wire. John still wanted to acquire a musical education, so he quit the wolf catching for a while and entered the Patterson's Institute at Hillsboro, Texas, where he married a young woman and sold pianos and organs. 
Later, he returned to breaking horses and chasing wolves. And in 1898, he settled in Greer County, Oklahoma, where he started a cattle ranch. There, he became a U.S. Marshal and had numerous adventures there and as a deputy sheriff in southwestern Oklahoma. In 1905, he set up a wolf hunt for President Theodore Roosevelt, who had learned of his skill and had written to him asking if he could see the wolf catching. Joining the party with Teddy was Quanah Parker, the Comanche chief, and several noted stockmen of Oklahoma and Texas. When Teddy Roosevelt went back to Washington with the story of wolves being caught by hand by Jack Abernathy, people in Washington did not want to believe it. No movies had been taken of that first hunt. So Teddy Roosevelt requested that the event be recreated and that movies be taken. And these are the movies that you're seeing made at the request of Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt does not appear in these movies, but these movies were made at his request. The movie was made about the same time that the bank robbery movie was made, and you'll see a lot of the same fellows in it. After the wolf hunt, Roosevelt appointed Abernathy as Marshal of Oklahoma, and for a time, Chris Madsen was the, his chief deputy, and Heck Thomas and several other famous lawmen worked for him for a while. During the years he was a lawman, he captured hundreds of outlaws single-handed and alone and placed 782 men in the penitentiary, and he never killed a single person during that time, though he escaped murder attempts several times. On December 4, 1906, he arrested a notorious killer named Jim Miller while at Hobart, Oklahoma. Sometime after that, Jack resigned as an Oklahoma marshal and became a Secret Service agent in New York. Then, he worked for the Mexican Secret Service during the Madero administration. In 1919, he moved to Wichita Falls, Texas, where he became a wildcat oil driller, having some success and made lots of money. But he lost it in the Depression of the 1930s. In 1929, he was almost fatally injured during a drilling rig accident in Bastrop County, Texas, and was pronounced dead by the attending physician. And his body was being sent to a mortuary when the attendant observed him breathing again. Eventually, he recovered entirely. In his old age, he lived in Long Beach, California, where he died on January 11, 1941. He was buried at Wichita Falls, Texas. His first wife had given him four daughters and three sons before she died in the year before he was appointed Oklahoma Marshal. And Jack raised the children successfully and eventually remarried. <laughs> Jack Abernathy is the only man ever known to accomplish this feat. And he developed the style of capturing wolves completely by accident. That horse there has gotten water in his ears and there's nothing that a horse hates more than to get his head wet or to get water in his ears.
up in a trap right there, looks like. original wolf hunt done with Teddy Roosevelt took place in the so-called Big Pasture area in southwest Oklahoma. By the time this movie was made, a couple of years later, the Big Pasture area had been settled by farmers, and it was not possible to hunt in that area. So this movie was made in and around the Wichita Mountains of present-day Comanche County, Oklahoma. of all the wolf and coyote catching. is the wolf hunt in southwest Oklahoma. 